community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a notice that came on CNBC today when uh, Paul Tudor Jones came on of uh, Tudor Investments and uh, said that it was very bullish in stocks and we were green every, uh, red everywhere and all of a sudden the market just exploded to the upside. And, uh, of course, it's continuing to rally today. We've just gone... Uh, positive on just every single index. It reminds me of another gentleman going back into the seven, 60s, 70s, and 80s. His name was Joe Granville. It was known as the Granville moment because when Joe said something, folks, be careful because the stock market would move one or two or three percent. This was back when it was trading, of course, you know, at six or seven hundred dollars, uh, seven hundred dollars uh, in the Dow Jones, not uh, 34,000. But uh, he had a big, big following. And I remember one thing very, very vividly in 1979, we had a director's meeting at Caesars Palace. And uh, Joe Granville was the speaker. The entertainers were Lou Rawls and Liza Minnelli. It was a, a big weekend. And all the directors were there. And anybody that had any uh, good uh, production numbers were, were, was invited to go. And so I happened to be there. And Joe uh, came on the stage. And uh, there was a little monkey with his little glockenspiel walking around. And, uh, and then also there was this uh, beautiful showgirl came out with this uh, tray, silver tray with this uh, some type of cognac or I don't know, brandy something, I don't know, 18, 20 or whatever it was. It was a couple thousand dollars a bottle. And uh, he proceeded to toast. The monkey gave him, gave the girl the, the corkscrew and she opened it. And he proceeded to toast all the suckers that didn't, just subscribe to the Joe Granville letter and of course everybody laughed and clapped and everything and my director sitting next to me Bob Zussman tapped me on the shoulder and he said Larry he said sell it he's selling he said that's high tick in Joe Granville and the moral of this story is about seven or eight years later I'm on a panel with Arch Crawford and Joe Granville at the money show uh, in New York and I told Joe that story and he looked at me with the straightest face you could possibly say and say, you know, that was my high tick. I never got any higher than that. And of course, he fought, uh, he fought alcoholism, but what a great guy he was. He really did so much good. And the one thing, if you ever were walking around Joe Granville and he knew you and you had a check to pick up, no chance. He always picked up the check. It happened to me a couple times over the years, breakfast or or lunch at some of the things he would always pick up the check and but he was a really a uh, super fella lived to be almost 90 and uh, uh, was married to the same lady lived in Kansas City just a super guy well loved by everybody but uh, that was mo known as a Granville moment and I will always always remember that because of the fact that it was uh, spot on uh, you know, perfect timing. He said, sell it. He's high tick is what he said. So anyway, that's uh, I wanted to bring that to your attention. Uh, Paul Tudor Jones does have, have a huge following and he should because he's very, very good at what he does. And one of my favorite uh, Paul Tudor Jones quotes was from um, the Wall Street Journal in 1986. They were interviewing him and it said, how does it feel to be Paul Tudor Jones to call the absolute bond market low before it rallies, you know, $10,000? That must be a wonderful feeling. And, the, and he said to the reporter, he says, well, he said, that's not accurate reporting. He said the reporting should be, yes, Paul Tudor Jones called the exact low in the Treasury bonds before they rallied $10,000. 
after being wrong six times in a row trying to pick that bottom. And that's what it said in the Wall Street Journal. I wish I'd have clipped it out, but I didn't. Anyway, that's what the, that's what the story was uh, on that. So I remember what people say and what people do are sometimes, you know, a lot different things. So we got to remember, you got to do your own thing. And markets react to these folks that are very smart. And uh, some people that are not very smart, they react to them. But anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to, to mention to you today. My guest today will be uh, Rich Anderson. We're going to be talking about the grains because they've had a really strong rally. Well, 15 cents in corn, which being down forever is actually a pretty good move. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on Wednesday, Stan Harley on Thursday, Norm Winsky, and on Friday, Bill Meridian on the following Monday. We're going to have uh, Jim Bartoleone on Tuesday. We're going to have Mike Moore. So we've got some really cool guests coming up, which will be uh, which will be a lot of fun to hear what uh, to hear what they have to say. Okay, now let's move on to a couple of charts. I posted a chart here, mainly of the one that I'm watching, which is the Nasdaq, that is uh, so very very important with all those numbers coming together up there at that thirteen thousand four ninety four. And folks, people ask me, well, how do you do it when you're when you're in a position and you get a $2,000 profit and they take $1,400 away from it, folks, I don't look at the markets all day long. Sometimes if they're down there and I see something that says, yeah, well, there'll be a little bit of rally, I might, I might rally, I might rally a little bit. In fact, when uh, Paul Tudor Jones came on and said that, I said, oh, here comes a rally. And so I expected to rally a little bit. And that's, in fact, what it's done. Haven't done anything since that time. I took a small, you know, profit. Uh, on the scalp, and that's pretty much it. Now, there's another uh, article that was sent to me by uh, by uh, Rich Anderson, and that was from the uh, New York Times. I have never read a New York Times. I've never bought a New York Times, but I hear it in the news all the time. But it's basically saying that the uh, the three failed banks that were failed here just a few weeks ago were bigger than the 25 banks. That, filed, that crumbled and filed bankruptcy in the 2008 thing. Remember, that was the one with the uh, uh, real estate bubble. So that's uh, you got to remember some of those things. And remember, in the NASDAQ, I wanted to remind you of this. This is the market caps on some of these big things. I, You'll see how just a few stocks have been moving the market. And as you pull this up, you'll be able to see here there's what's happened. You see, you had all of these stocks here. Look, uh, look, look. Uh, some of these have been up 90%. Like Meta, of course, Meta, uh, Facebook has been down quite a bit, and then it popped back up. But you know, Apple's still up uh, 30%. Uh, Microsoft is up uh, 29%. Nvidia is up 94%. But you know, some of these. Uh, look at the healthcare stocks have not been doing pretty good. So those are some of the things you want to pay. Uh, close attention to as you're watching some of these things going on here today. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. Now, I want to share with you a chart from our friend Jeff over in New Jersey because he had a beautiful pattern, and I want to explain why these patterns are fun. Let me get this up here, and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio Tom O'Brien is here to help Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you Tom's daily market newsletter market insights is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, well, folks, I posted a chart from our friend Jeff over there in New Jersey. Uh, it's a beautiful, it's a 15 minute chart of a cross rate, uh, euro yen, I believe. And as you can see, uh, we have absolutely three lower tops, just absolutely perfectly symmetrical. You can see the ABCD structure, the target, everything is lining up perfectly. You see, it's got a nice profit in it. And he said, uh, you know, how does it look? And I said, it looks just really good unless you get above that high right there. And it was acting just absolutely perfectly. And at the same time that uh, Paul Tudor Jones uh, said something, you're going to guess what happened. And I'm going to bring this up and show you why these patterns are just as important when they lose as when they win. And as you bring it up and take a look at it, you'll see absolutely, well, this actually was a 382 retracement, but you, you don't know that. You're expecting this. So all you do is you put your stop right above here, ended up with a, a very, very small loss. And that's what it's all about, folks. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And that's the key to what you're trying to do. The two, the two things, when, when Mark moved here, uh, Tucson, and he was writing the book, uh, Trading in the Zone, and we were going over all of these accounts, over 10,000 of them from Merrill Lynch, and uh, the two reasons why people lost the most was one was over trading and uh, the other reason was uh, putting stops at the wrong place. They would use, you know, like a three point stop or three tick stop in in the bonds or something like that. That was the two biggest characteristics. There were, you know, some 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 of the accounts, of course, didn't use stops and they got they got massacred too. But the two biggest reasons for uh, most reasons for people losing was the over trading part and then also the fact that they put their stops at the wrong point. That's why Fibonacci numbers and you know the other numbers of sacred geometry help you to get a pretty good chance of where you should put your stop. It doesn't take a, a mental a giant to realize once you get above this level right here that something's not right because it was working perfectly and now it's not. Well, it's way up here right now. So there's a perfect example of uh, – you know, the one that, uh, you know, the, the way it happened, that's pretty much it. I wanted to share uh, a couple of charts 
uh, from the newsletter uh, that we do, Trade What You See. This was one that is really important. People don't pay too much attention to it, but it's basically the credit default swaps, folks. Let me get this up here so you'll be able to see it. You you can see, now this, this looks like a tulip bulb. I mean, it really does, but this is the credit default swap on the bonds, and that means that uh, they, they're taking insurance that some of the bonds are not going to be doing. I can't believe that they would get up there, that their you know, Treasury bonds have not uh, been repudiated for, I think, uh, been a couple, 150 years or so. But uh, we've raised that debt limit uh, 96 times out of 115 years, so there's not going to be anything different with that. But someone is scared, and they are taking protection, and that is a big deal. And I don't understand it too much, but all I know when I see something like that, that's a sign that somebody is absolutely uh, scared. Now, the other part of that is you can see, I'm going to get the price of the uh, of the T-bill, the one-year T-bill, to show you that people are moving into T-bills. And if you remember, we had uh, on Bloomberg uh, this past uh, weekend, we had uh, Jamie Dimon on, and of course, they asked him what he would do, and he said, I would be a central bank. I'd buy T-bills, and that's why you know you see this, uh, what's going on uh, in the T-bill market. Now, there's a lot of talk about inflation, and I've I've lived through this inflation stuff for uh, many many years, and I want to go back with you uh, back to the 1980s when inflation was really really bad, and uh, Jimmy Carter brought in Paul Volcker. But as you notice here, uh, this is 1980, folks. This is when gold. On uh, the 20th of uh, January 1980, that's when gold topped. And you'll notice it was a beautiful three drive to a top pattern right up in here. And, uh, you know, we were out of all of our gold and silver, mainly based on this three drive pattern that, you know, not many people knew about it. I mean, uh, the people that read Gartley's book certainly did. But uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. But you can see that's when the inflation uh, really stopped. And, of course, it it went down from uh, 13% or whatever it was down to 1% or 2 two or 3% what it is today, as it's reported. And you know as well as I do, these numbers are massaged. You know, you go into one supermarket and you got eggs at $8 a dozen. You go to another supermarket and they're two fifty a dozen. And uh, but, uh, and you see strawberries are six ninety nine a quart. You go three days later and they're two ninety nine a quart. So y you just don't know. But you you can see it in your in your bills because you're paying more, well paying a lot more for gasoline right now, and you're certainly paying a lot more for food. But the actual figures, they you back in those days, what they did is they took food and energy out of the index and that's what got it started going down believe it or not that's what they actually did we'll have rich on i'm sure he'll remember that but we're having some big moves here uh today not big moves i mean these grains have been absolutely massacred but you know we got uh, wheat up about 20 cents we've got uh soybeans up 15 cents corns up 12 or 15 cents but these are just short covering rallies from the market being you know very very uh, oversold and undersold and that that's part of you know, the thing that we're paying attention to. Now, I've had a request to take a look at something that we've been relatively friendly to for quite a while, and that is the natural gas. And as we get this up and take a look at it, now this is a, uh, a four-hour chart, and uh, you'll notice here that uh, this uh, this was the big bottom. You can see the, the ABCD bottom that was right there. Then we had the pullback, came right to the 78% level, and uh, then we had the pullback that came down to the 61. That was really strong support there at that 218 to 216 level. And now we've reached up as high as 236 today. And that completes an ABCD. So what should be uh, starting to watch now is to see the market back off a little bit uh, in this area here, making a nice little 135 pattern. And then you have a really good place to enter. And I think we're going to be going higher in the natural gas. We've had a pretty big turnaround today in the uh, crude oil complex because it was uh, sharply lower early this morning and now it's uh, it's starting to uh, uh, move uh, a little bit higher. In fact, it is higher today after after being lower. So those are a couple of things that, uh, that are paying attention that we're paying a very, very close attention to today. And had one other chart 
that I wanted to uh, bring to your attention. We're going to take a little trip across the pond here and take it to German DAX because we had a really nice sell-off in the German DAX. And then, of course, we've had this uh, really nice rally that's been going on. So we just had a 382 pullback here. But look look at the beautiful ABCD pattern here that completed. Uh, is it true that someone got through on the phone lines, Al? Is it true? Is it true? And it certainly is. So we have uh, Jeremiah from Arizona. What can I help you with, young man? Hey, sir. I, uh, real quick, I just had a question. Um, I've been reading your book, and it has drastically improved my trading. I mean, drastically, Good. and I thank you for that. But anyway, um, the ABCD pattern, me and my uh, Jeremiah, wife questions. We're both Jeremiah, we're stay both with us till yes, sir. We're, all, we're, we're paying a bill right now, so come on in about... Uh, in about five minutes, and we'll ask your questions so everybody can hear, because no one can hear us right now. They're paying bills. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just stay with us. Stay on the air. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We have uh, Jeremiah from Arizona uh, asking a question, and we also have Rich Anderson on the line. Welcome, Rich. Uh, Jeremiah, why don't you go ahead and ask your question about ABCD? Maybe he passed D pattern. When D completes, um, is it normally a reversal? I don't know what the probabilities are. I've been being really patient and waiting for my, you know, my retracement. But I, I was just wondering what what can I expect at the end of D? 
Well, at the end of D, you should see the market uh, reverse and go the other way because that's where your entry point is at D. Now, there's two reasons why not to enter at D. One is that you have a really long bar, in other words, extreme weakness or extreme strength, or if you have a gap that's in that area, then you want to be careful. Other than that, you can do all APCDs, and if you've uh, looked at the Floor Traders Handbook, you'll know that the odds on that are 61% of the time you're going to win, and your payoff is going to be uh, 3 to 1, but that's over a period of about 30,000 uh, simulated trades in the euro, so it doesn't work all the time. So if it starts going below D by more than you want to risk, you know that there's something wrong, and you get out of Dodge. It's, it's quite simple. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. It, my trading has improved so much. I've been working at this for three years, and I'm just, I am filled to the top with gratitude. So, oh, my oh, gosh. Thank you. I, I'll, I'll get that. My I'll wife get is that. trading, too, now, because she's seeing me being <laughs> successful, and she's also on board. So, thank okay. God. Okay. Just make sure so, you don't got don't go to Texas where Big D is. You don't want to get in any trouble there, okay? And by the way, uh, make sure you use stops on everything, okay, Jeremiah? Very important. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, risk management is the king. Yeah, absolutely. I, and speaking of <laughs> thank you so speaking, much, Larry. Thank you, Jeremiah. <laughs> we appreciate it. And speaking of Rich Anderson and and at risk management, we've got Rich on the line. Rich, how are you doing, my friend? Doing great. How are you doing, Larry? Uh, still living the dream, pal. like to hear uh, stories like that. I remember hearing a story like that about in 1971 or 72 from a fellow out there in South Dakota named Rich Anderson with the same uh, uh, excitement. Do you remember that, Rich? It's been that long ago. Yeah, that's a long time years. ago, wasn't it? <laughs> it sure was. Anyway... Tell us what the heck's going on with the grains. They're going down into the sewer one day, and the next day they're heading for the moon. What, what happened over the weekend that made this big rally occur? Well, you know, I, I sent you the uh, estimate yep. for the crop report, which was on May 12th. Sure. And it so often happens, you know, you buy the rumor, sell the fact. Uh, there's a bearish report for corn and beans. Uh-huh. And uh, it was friendly to wheat. Now, if you notice, the Kansas City wheat that jumped about two dollars, or I mean, uh, it jumped a dollar over the last two weeks. Wow! And if you notice, Kansas City wheat, which is um, hard red winter wheat, is significantly higher than Chicago. Uh, I'm uh, not in front of my computer today, but I, I, I guarantee you that's what's going on. And uh, we, you know. I can remember one time a pig crop report came out, and it was so bearish you couldn't believe it, and the market went straight up from there. Now, I don't know that that's necessarily going to happen in these grains, but what, what's happened is everybody that – all the bearish news was already sold into this market. I mean, yes. basically the government came out and said we're going to have our carryouts increase by 55% in corn and 56% in beans. It, for next year versus this past year. And if, if, if indeed that becomes the case, that's uh, quite negative. But, well, you know, the price has already factored that in for the moment. And by the way, we're still planting. Now, the, yeah. the, you watch the planting reports that come out every Monday night, and they'll probably show the corn at around uh, 50. Uh, let me, what am I looking for? Corn's going to be 40% done and being 65% done. Mm -hmm. And the spring wheat, normally at this time of the year, would be about 65% done, but it'll be way behind. So that's why, you know, there's life in the wheat. And, yeah. you know, with these low corn prices, they'll be uh, feeding more uh, corn instead of wheat in different areas. And, you know, that that's how things work. And so what I'm doing is sitting here watching these markets. Um, look at, you know, looking at these prices is probably have an opportunity, but I want to see market action, number one. And then, two, I want to see some kind of fun fundamentals that will gel mm -hmm. with my observations, yeah. and that can easily happen. You know, it's, it's a very rare year where we have absolutely no worries. Oh, and believe me, when I've the farmer puts that, that money in the ground, he starts to have worries, and so does everybody else. And so far, things are, are going pretty smoothly. Although, the, the, like I said, the spring wheat's going to be behind in this planning. 
But that's what I'm keeping track of, and that's what will tell you that there's going to be opportunity knocking. Yeah. Rich, have you ever been ever, ever seen a year where we didn't have at least one, two, or three uh, crop scares? I mean, I can't remember nope. one. Yeah. Nope. And, oh, and for corn, it, you, the average, basically, it, the, the markets and the seasonals, if you studied it, uh, both in, the, in volatility of corn and of, of the price, you know, they – they tend to go up as you have the increase of the average daily moisture need of corn, which increases as you go into the middle of July. And then it starts to decrease. And so that's what typically volatility will peak if you're an option trader. And that's typically when the concern for crop will, you know, be at its maximum. On the flip side, we've got the wheat tour for the hard red winter wheat, which is a Kansas City crop, starts this week they'll be in wichita on wednesday night and they'll be looking at some stuff that looks very ugly and you know that'll probably be the most bullish news for the moment in in that particular market and so you watch the market action there and uh you know that that's that's you know that's how simple people do things you keep it simple uh, and that, uh, take intelligent uh, risk. You're a calculated risk taker. You've got to know what your edges are, you know, and yeah. that that's that's how it's done. It doesn't matter what the market is. Yeah. It's the same in every market because it's human psychology. Amen to that, my friend. It certainly is. Listen, I know you're really busy today, but thanks for popping in. And if you see something, keep dropping those emails into me, and I'll forward it on to the folks that are watching these grains go up and down because uh, there's going to be some great opportunities there for sure. So thanks well, a lot. Say hello I, I will to the family. You, I'll and, keep uh, you posted. But the, the one thing I sent you this morning at 5 o'clock or 4.30, uh, whenever it was, was a credit default swaps. That's the amount of insurance that these yeah. bond traders need. You know, they they figure that the government's eventually going to come together and raise the debt limit. But right now, the credit default swaps are higher than they were are in uh, Brazil, as an example, which oh, is a country gosh. that ha- has issues. Mm-hmm. And in the, the interest rates increase in the inflation rate in Argentina, it makes your head spin. Yeah. So you know we we don't have anything like that yet, but we. Uh, have to be on guard so i will keep you posted and there'll be an opportunity here you know you just you gotta have an elephant gun boy that speeding rabbit all right buddy hey listen thanks a lot rich we'll have you on again soon rich anderson folks anderson capital management we'll be right back 877-927-6648 billy ray valentine capricorn You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee. 
at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted the little ABCD pattern here in the uh, Dow Jones as we were on the air. Uh, and, uh, oh, dear, I don't know what happened to it, but uh, let me get it up here again. Shut the front door and raise a rent. Boy, don't ever leave an Italian with a mouse. Okay, here's where we were when we were on the air with Rich. I tried to get this into the air. I know I did, but... Uh, as you can see, we did make the ABCD. We've sold off. So if you sell ABCDs, you want to go back and put your stop here, protect a little bit of a profit, maybe just 100 bucks. But that's what uh, you want to be looking at, Jeremiah. You had a very perfect ABCD there, just as uh, clear as a bell. And, of course, it uh, worked in the right direction so far. Now, we've got another one out here that uh, looks uh, really interesting from a uh, – long-term perspective and it happens to be something we don't trade very often but it was the only one of all the commodities that uh, set up for an absolute uh, perfect ABCD and it was hot chocolate folks cocoa the sweet and as you can see here we have this beautiful one two three drive to a top pattern and if you blew this up and really studied it you'll see that the AB leg is equal to the CD leg in both price and time. And that means that the one, two, three drive to a top pattern is as perfect as it can possibly get. Folks, I have not traded cocoa in over 50 years. I haven't done it today. I don't trade cocoa. It's just not something that I look at. But three people that take the uh, newsletter say, hey, this looks really good. And guess what happened today? Yep, it was one of those that worked uh, really good. And you'll see it had a big gap down, and uh, so I'm glad that one worked. But these, like I said, we they don't always work. Jeff had a perfect pattern today in his uh, cross rate, and yet what happened was it didn't quite work the way that he wanted it to work. And that happens all the time, folks. You're only going to be right two out of three times. The you know, folks, when I when I do the uh, the videos and stuff. The hardest thing for me to do, and it, it took me years to do this, and it was because of working with Mark, is to don't pay any attention. You don't have any control over what's going on. The dumbest thing you can do is sit there and stare at your god darn machine. Either you're making money going up or losing money going down. That's like that's like mesmerizing you, and that's not what it's about. You know, go look at something else. If you're in cocoa, go look at live cattle or hogs. Today, a hog move. We had a, a monster, almost limit up move in, in, in hogs, and we've been waiting waiting to buy them. But the problem was, yes, the problem was they didn't get down to the exact price that, uh, you know, I thought they were going to get to. So when that happens, there's nothing else you can do about it. But I'll, I'll bring this up, and I'll, you, you won't believe where they're trading. They're trading up around 88 Right now, they're up almost the limit, and that's in the in the face of a I don't know some some negative news and stuff like that. But it, it made the 1.27 here, but I'm looking for this level right here, down another penny, and we didn't get there, and now we're way up here. That's one I missed. 
So what do I do? I forget it. Just like I tried to buy July corn. It looked like it was going to be a mortal lock that you were going to get filled. Today in July corn, when it opens, boom, opens five, hour, five, five cents higher and moves 17 cents higher. So <laughs> I don't chase markets. So that's a part of the factor that, you know, when I'm doing these things, I, I just can't do them. But they, I can't do all of them. I try to find the ones that seem like they're the best, but you know, they're not always gonna be that way. You just don't know. And and I see some of these huge swings that happen intraday, and sometimes I see them and sometimes I don't see them, and it doesn't make any difference. This is what I'm gonna tell you now, folks. Listen up real closely. No one really gives a hoot whether I'm looking at the machine or not. And that's your machine and all the other trading machines. No one really cares whether you're looking or not. So if you're in something and you're watching it go up and down, you're not doing yourself a favor. Go do something else. Go do analysis in the euro or something like that. That's all you have to do because you know, watching these things go up and down is just not – a whole lot of fun. I'm just saying that like it is. I mean, just since we've been on the air, the S&P's dropped 25 points and the Dow's dropped 250. 150. And I guess Mr. Jones maybe changed his mind. Who knows what what it what evil lurks in the minds of these reporters that put this stuff out here? You know, that's the that's the whole key to to what we're looking at. The whole key is right here in Jeff's chart. Let me let me bring this up here. Because this is really – he did such a great job on it and uh, very proud of the work that he does. But uh, – and, and, he, and he has some really good trades. And this was a good trade. He broke even, but it was still a great trade. Now, look, he only went down to this level. Now, had he known this was the 382, and I already knew that he put his stop right here because he already told me that. He said, is that a good pattern? It's absolutely a perfect pattern. Look at this. You have A, B, C, D. There's your buy right there. There's your rally back. That sets up an absolute perfectly symmetrical one, three, five pattern. Bada bing, bada boom. And hats off. You get to kiss your sister because she's a lovely person. And by golly, you break even. And that's what it's all about. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. What would you rather do? Sit there in front of the train and let the train run over you? I don't think so. You don't want to have that happen. Remember, it's a market of stocks, not a stock market. That's the key uh, to watching these things as we uh, – move through these uh, trading days. We've got a couple minutes to go. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. I wanted to share uh, one other uh, commodity that is uh, certainly in the news, and uh, it will be very, very important because it, it was up strongly a little earlier and now has given up the ghost because I, I believe that this is uh, copper, the metal. Get this up here, the old red metal. And uh, we were up about seven or eight cents at one time, and then it started uh, to move lower. And then there's uh, one really, really super, super, absolutely super duper one that you've got to be really careful of. And uh, we were able to uh, 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 put this trade on uh, with an absolute minimum of risk, and that is the uh, trade in the uh, silver market. And so as we get up here, I want to uh, show you uh, there's where we were uh, on Friday. And, and, folks, we were on the air while this was happening, and we went right down to that level of uh, 23.91. Uh, and uh, we said it should be a buy, you know, within a penny of that, and it did. And it's rallied. It's only rallied about 40 cents. The key here is just like what Jeff was looking at. If it goes below 2391 now, folks, do not be long because that means this thing is going to go lower. It had a big wide ranging day down. It stopped right where it should have, right during the midst of all that battle. Somebody with lots of bucks came in and said, I'm buying silver at 2391. And 2392 was a good place to buy it. You only had to risk it 10 cents on that. Actually, probably a lot less. But if it goes below there now after that rally, oh, ho, 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 that's not good. Uh, that's not good. So let's take a break. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the NASDAQ. This is a daily chart showing you the 50% retracement and the 61% retracement from the various, and those were exact numbers, folks. I mean, to the exact tick at uh, 13,944. Uh, the number was, uh, I think, a, a quarter of a point higher than that, than 94, I think 94 and three quarters. And not only that, folks, but that thing has had a, a um, $3,000 profit twice. Right now, it's back to a $2,000 profit because we had a rally, then a sell-off. But, I mean, to sit there and to see it going back and forth like that, I, I was watching that. I was I was watching bonds, and I was watching gold, and I was on the phone with someone, so I had no idea that it was bouncing around like that. I had my, my orders in to protect my uh, profit, and that's what I told the folks to do. But, you know, if you start looking at that stuff, it's going to drive you Scoshi Bakatati, and that in Vietnamese means absolutely crazy. So you don't want to go in that direction. But should we get above there, 13,500, uh, folks, that would be very, very bullish. That means that there was no sell-off. Well, there were a couple of sell-offs, but the market came back both times, and away it went to the upside. So uh, let's keep our, you know, don't, your opinions are often wrong. Uh, but you you got to take uh, take care of the losses. That's the main thing. You know everybody has an opinion, and uh, it's like an armpit. It usually smells. So if you get above that level that we made uh, Friday, 
uh, that's not good, and that means that would be a failed pattern because it hit it so perfectly twice and then almost again today. That's the third time. So somebody was trying to push the market up, and so far it's backed off a little bit, but it's still, you know, still a little bit to uh, to see, you know, what's going to be happening with it uh, uh, from these levels. But anyway, that's what we're, you know, trying to keep an eye on. Uh, we'll be back uh, with another show, so stay with us. Eight seven seven. 927-6648 trade what you see Fibonacci 24/7 <laughs> 